thousands of containers are being loaded every day and sent via train to several neighbor countries of railway. And this is one of these trains here in Wuxi. It's an awesome. That was a big sound. <laughs> oh man. So don't expect to see any slowdown anytime soon on the production of Chinese goods and the sending of the Chinese goods to the rest of the world. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are in the province of Jiangsu, specifically in the city of Wuxi. And right now this is a very special place that I wanted to visit for a long time. This is a train station that is sending a lot of goods all around the world. They're mainly connecting countries in Central Asia and Europe. You know, China right now is manufacturing a lot of goods. So, of course, we need some transportation uh, to send all these uh, goods to the rest of the world. This is one of those. This is one of the stations where uh, all these containers, thousands of containers are being loaded every day and sent via train to several neighbor countries of China and even farther to Europe. This is a huge space here in Wuxi area that will be building more uh, tracks just like this one that you're seeing right now in the other side of the park. I don't know about you guys, I live in China and I use a lot of Chinese products, uh, a lot of Chinese brands and Every time I use a new product or a new brand, like for example, uh, Xiaomi, Vivo, Oppo, DJI, all these brands that are being made, designed, produced here in China are super high quality. So I don't really get that surprise that the demand for Chinese products and Chinese brands is higher and higher every time. A demonstration for that, a proof of that is that these kind of parks uh, industrial parks, transportation parks are being built massively. All around China, you can see different kind of projects. This is actually kind of a new park uh, recently built, but they already show different projects for expansion of this park in the future, which means the capacity for transportation will be even higher and they will be sending more and more goods to the rest of the world. Even though all around the world, China is facing a lot of criticism for different reasons, the growth of the Chinese economy is unstoppable. And again, proof of that is seeing these kind of parks, these kind of places where you see the potential of the Chinese economy, the potential of a Chinese product, of a phone, of a pair of shoes, of a jacket, of a drone, of a microphone, all these products are being produced here and sent to many other countries and the demand is higher and higher every time. So don't expect to see any slowdown anytime soon on the production of Chinese goods and the sending of the Chinese goods to the rest of the world. That is going to keep happening and I'm glad that is happening. I live here and I can witness with my own eyes the success of many Chinese companies. Part of that success is because of this kind of infrastructure. It's not just about the good quality of a product. It's not about just about the philosophy of a company. It's like several dots connected, right? If I have a company, if I have a good product that wants to, that I want to send abroad and needs to arrive uh, safe, efficiently and on time to that place, I also need to come with the infrastructure and I'll need to also count with the transportation with a safe, not so expensive and efficient way to send my product from China to the rest of the world. And that's where this kind of uh, infrastructure, this kind of uh, parks, this kind of companies are needed because they do a good job, an efficient job 
sending all these products to the rest of the world. So it's not just about one company, it's not just about one person, it's several dots connected working together to make that happen. So you can receive your product, your phone, your computer, your refrigerator, your TV, over there where you are right now, in America, in Europe, in South America, anywhere in the world. All these products made here in China are being sent probably to your country from this very place. One of the biggest strengths of this park is the location. It's in Jiangsu province, almost like in the middle of uh, China, the east part of China. So it's close to big production centers like uh, Hangzhou, Suzhou, Nanjing, and Shanghai. They also have some lines connecting with southern China, sending goods from that part of the country to here and then send them uh, abroad to other neighbor countries. So you see a lot of these huge machines for loading and unloading the different uh, containers. You usually go to store, buy your product, your phone, your perf shoes, but you'd never know what is the process involved behind a lot of work, guys, and here is one of these ports where you will see uh, leaving all these goods to the last destination, probably in Europe, in Russia, or any other countries in uh, Asia. And right now we're about to see how this train is going to leave. This is a cargo train that is going to connect a lot of products, a lot of goods are made here in China, all the way to uh, Central Asia, countries like uh, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, and also connecting to, uh, with Russia and other countries in Europe. Right now, probably in this train, you will find several goods are going to your home. If you're watching us from Russia or Europe, perhaps your phone, your shoes are in this train right now. So it's super cool uh, to see how big the development of transportation is because of course a lot of things and a lot of products are made here in China so nowadays we can with more and more different kind of uh, transportations to send all these products uh, to the rest of the world and one of them one of these is railway and this is one of these trains here in Wuxi is an awesome that was a big sound <laughs> oh man <laughs> that means that is a sound that is going to make when the train is about to leave and ladies and gentlemen, here it goes, all the way from Jiangsu province to the rest of the world. One of the most interesting parts is uh, to see how well connected is this place with the rest of China and the rest of the world. Big center of production like the Pearl River Delta in southern China, the place where I live, is also sending cargo via this uh, industrial park to the rest of the world. So sometimes the fees might be cheaper, somehow also depending on the location, of the country, the timing will be also faster. Remember, not every country have access to the sea. So some countries, like for example, in the Central Europe, might be more convenient to use a train to transport a few containers rather than sending first via a ship and then maybe a train or a truck to transport them to the rest of the world. And now China is working on more and more these kind of initiatives trying to connect uh, with the rest of the world, especially with countries in Central Europe, Central Asia, uh, Russia, all these countries are getting more and more connected uh, with China, sending all these kind of goods. What you can see behind me right now is the part that is connected to the river. So this industrial park is also connected with the rest of China, not only via train or railway, but also via the water or the ships that will take the different materials and different kind of goods 
uh, to the rest of China. Actually, what you can see behind me is kind of raw materials that are being produced in northern China. They're being transported here, and from here is being sent to other cities in the country. So this is only not only uh, export and import center, but it's also uh, the distribution center for different kind of material that is connecting several cities all around China via railway, via road, via uh, sea or uh, like this river we have right now here. We can see some little cargo ships behind us that will take all these materials to the different cities. This park, which is one of the biggest in this city, it counts with different kind of transportation modes, not only railway, but also different kind of road. It has access to several main highways in this area, this part of China, and also access to the river. Actually, this part of the river is artificial. It was built in 2007, and this part, it was land. So it was digged out and the water came to this area. So uh, the park can have access to the river through that little part that you can see behind me. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day to day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.